In today's video, I will show you how to measure to determine if you need to shorten your implement driveline when installing the PTO Link system. Most of our PTO Link customers do not need to shorten their driveline to accommodate the five inches added by the PTO Link system. However, everyone should verify whether this is necessary by first evaluating and comparing the following two measurements, A and B. First, let's start with measurement A. Before installing the PTO Link Quick Connect system, make sure the implement is fully connected to the tractor and sitting on level ground. In this example, we will be using a three-point hitch implement. If you have a pull behind, it will measure basically the same way with a few exceptions that we'll cover later. We want to first measure the maximum distance the implement driveline slides when the implement is being lifted, then add one inch to that measurement. This is how we recommend you measure. While the implement is sitting on level ground, find the point on the overlapping safety shields where the inner and the outer shields meet. Now place a mark on the inner shield. This represents the before lift position. Next, raise the implement noticing when the implement slides in the most while lifting. Every implement setup is unique, so it may be at the top, midway, or somewhere in between. This will be the maximum slide position. Remember, our objective is to discover how far it slides on a normal lift, so when you have reached that maximum point, stop the implement in that position and then mark the inner slide shield again. Safety notice, it is always better to do this with a second person, but if you are doing this by yourself, make sure the tractor doesn't roll while getting these measurements. Be sure that the brakes are locked, tires chalked, or the engine is off and in gear. Now lower the implement back to the ground and measure the distance between the two marks on the inner shield. In this example, the implement slides in a total of two and three quarter inches. Now add one inch to that measurement for extra safety, making measurement A three and three quarter inches of total slide. Measurement B, install each PTL link coupler to the tractor and the implement, but do not connect the couplers yet. Measure the distance between the two couplers, make sure they are square to each other, and the driveline is fully collapsed and bottomed out. Take the above measurements and compare the following. If measurement A is less than or equal to measurement B, then no adjustment is necessary. If measurement A is greater than measurement B, then the difference of A minus B is the recommended amount of, to shorten the drive line. For this mower, we have plenty of clearance. Since A, three and three quarter inches, is less than B, nine and a half inches. So we're good to go on the mower. If you don't have the PTO link couplers yet, you can estimate measurement B by simulating the length added by the PTO link system with measuring the distance between the tip of the tractor's male PTO spline and the tip of the implement female receiver. Make sure they're facing square to each other and at the same height when the drive line is fully collapsed or bottomed out. Then subtract three inches. This will be your estimated B measurement if the PTO link system was installed. Keep in mind this measurement is for estimation purposes only. The most accurate measurement when determining whether to cut your drive line is best measured once the PTO link system is fully installed. Now let's use those same measurements on this tiller. Remember this is a great way to measure every implement you have to verify if adjustments are needed to any of the drive lines you will be using with the PTO link system. This will go a lot faster since we've already walked through measuring the other implement. Measurement A. We need to make our two marks on the inner driveline shield, one before the hydraulic lift and one after, to measure the maximum slide distance. Now lower the implement back to the ground and measure the distance between the two marks on the inner shield. In this example, the implement slides in a total of one and a half inches. Now add one inch to that measurement for extra safety, which makes measurement A on this tiller two and a half inches. Measurement B. Install each PTO link coupler to the tractor and the implement, but do not connect the couplers yet. Measure the distance between the two couplers, make sure they are square to each other, and the drive line is fully collapsed and bottomed out. In this case, the measurement between the two plates, measurement B, is only three quarters of an inch. For this tiller, A was two and a half inches, and B was only three quarters of an inch. If measurement A is greater than measurement B, then the difference of A minus B is the recommended amount of, to shorten the drive line. So we need to subtract three quarters of an inch from two and a half inches, meaning this drive line would need to be shortened by one and three quarter inches 
to create the needed two and a half inch space between the two couplers before connecting them together to give the driveline adequate room to slide during the hydraulic lift off the ground. To shorten this driveline by one and three quarter inches, we would need to cut both ends of the driveline metal tips and the shields by the full one and three quarter inches. That's four cuts in total to properly shorten the length of this driveline after it's been fully collapsed or bottomed out. Of course, an alternative to shortening the driveline is to install a quick hitch system to your three point hitch. A good example would be Pat's Easy Change, which we recommend, also an eye match like we have here, which lengthens and extends the distance between the tractor and the implement and tends to offset most of the PTO link driveline length added by the PTO link system. There are a couple exceptions to keep in mind, so please read FAQ question number five for those details related to some subcompact tractors when using a tiller. Read FAQ number six if you have an auger postal digger so you get the proper measurements. Remember, no two implements slide in the same distance, so you'll need to make specific measurements for each of your implements. If you move your implement to a different tractor, be sure to make the measurements again to ensure you're operating safely and to avoid bottoming out your drive line when lifting your implement. If you have a pull behind implement, it will measure in a similar way as we've seen with the three point hitch implements, with this exception. To get measurement A, connect the implement to the tractor while in a straight line and on level ground and while it is in the lower position. Find the point on the overlapping safety shields where both the inner and the outer shields meet. Place a mark on the inner shield. This represents the before lift or turn position. Next, lift the implement and then make a short turn, which is usually no greater than about 60 degrees or whatever degree your implement manual limits your turning angle. Notice when the implement slides in the most while lifting and in the midst of a short turn. This will be your maximum slide position. After both positions have been marked, move the tractor and mower back into the straight line. Lower the deck and measure the distance between the two marks. Then add one inch to that measurement. Again, to get measurement B, as previously illustrated, install each PTO link coupler to the tractor and implement, but do not connect the couplers together yet. Then measure the distance between the two installed PTO link couplers. Make sure they are facing square to each other when the drive line is fully collapsed and bottomed out. If measurement A is less than or equal to measurement B, then no adjustment is necessary. If measurement A is greater than measurement B, then the difference of A minus B is a recommended amount to shorten the drive line. Of course, if your drive line is too long after adding the PTO link, an alternative to shortening is to check if your draw bar can slide further out toward the implement. If so, that will add length between the mower and the tractor and will offset some of the five inches added by the PTO link system. Here's an important and highly recommended final test for all pull behind implements since they can be maneuvered in very unique angles, such as transitioning from slope to flat surface, going through ditches, severe inclines, etc. Therefore, you'll want to give yourself an extra inch or more of room to slide to avoid potential bottoming out of the driveline or binding the joints in those scenarios. To test the driveline length and turning angles of the U-joint or CV joint, first attach the implement to the tractor. With the driveline disconnected, that is, with the PTO link system uncoupled. Safely secure the drive line to the implement, then make a sharp test turn. By the way, this turn will differ if you have a CV joint versus a standard U joint. So refer to your owner's manual for the implement's maximum turn for your type joint. Then hold the couplers square to each other as if they were coupled, then angle at an extra 10 degrees. This is based on an example we found for a CV joint maximum angle check. Always refer to your implement owner's manual for the specifics of your equipment. Now attempt to reconnect the PTO link at the sharp turning angle. If you cannot reconnect the couplers or have the extra room for more turning angle, then open the turn with your tractor and try again until you can reconnect the PTO link system without binding. Remember, if the joint does not have extra room to angle, there is a potential problem of over angling the joint while making sharp turns. Once you determine the sharpest turning radius that maintains a safe operating angle, note this position to the operator. This now becomes the maximum turning angle based upon your specific equipment turning limitations after adding the PTO link system. Remember, if your drive line is too long once adding the PTO link, it will bottom out your drive line and will likely damage your PTO system, which you don't want to happen. So, these measurements are very important. If you have questions or need additional guidance, please call our customer care hotline 
at 833-444-5465 at extension 3. Thank you for watching and have a happy PTO Connecting Day.